we'll encounter a couple of problems when working with contour maps. The first problem is to determine the contour interval. That's the elevation difference between any two adjacent contour lines. The second problem is we'll need to identify the contour value of any particular line that's unnumbered. So in order to answer the second question, we actually need to answer the first. So let's, uh, let's get started. In order to determine the contour interval for the map as a whole, we'll need to note the elevations of the contour lines that are numbered. Those are called the index contours. And we'll find two of those at an elevation of 100 and 200. Then we need to count the number of intervals between those two index lines. And here we can note one, two, three, four. There are five intervals between those two lines. And with those two observations, we'll be able to calculate the contour interval for the map as a whole. The contour interval for the map as a whole, then, is just the difference between the index line elevations which is 200 minus 100, divided by the number of intervals, that is 5. And that difference then gives us a value of 20 feet per interval. Now, with uh, a knowledge that there's 20 feet between each of these adjacent contour lines, uh, that means that we can then identify any value of a contour line that's unnumbered by simply adding 20 feet, counting up from the lower elevation of an index line, or counting down. So, for example, with this line right here, uh, we're going to have to add 100 plus the interval 20 uh, to give us 120 feet for the value of that line. Any other line on the map can be determined in a similar way. Let's take this line. You can see that it's uh, one line down from the 200 foot interval. So 200 minus 20 is equal to 180 feet. And again, uh, that's the elevation of this particular line. So make sure that you're able to determine the contour interval and identify the elevations of any um, unnumbered line.